We saw it a few weeks ago at the Indonesian Auto Show as the ruling cloud, but today it is here as the MG Windsor EV. JSW MG Motor India has launched this brand new electric vehicle in India with a radical price tag and I'm going to tell you how they've managed that, what this costs and just how much you will end up paying in this first look video. My name is Aman Ahmed and you're watching Car & Bike. If you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe to Car & Bike and hit the bell icon so you're notified every time we upload a new video. Now, let's go and meet the Windsor EV. So I won't dwell too much on the design and styling of the Windsor EV. As you know, we've already seen the Vueling Cloud up close at the Indonesian Auto Show. But I will still talk you through some of the design highlights. As you can see, it has the LED daytime running lights on top linked by a full width light bar. The MG logo, which is super sized, is also illuminated, which I think is a cool touch. Lower down, you will see the LED headlight clusters. But I'm not so sure about these black trim elements that have been added. These are accessories, but I'm not sure if they're adding to the appearance of the vehicle. Now, when you come over to the side, you will notice that this is running on 18 inch diamond cut alloys. These are only available on the higher spec models. The lower spec models will get different wheels. And the charge port is located right here. This one has flush door handles. Once again, this is something that is only available on the higher spec models. The lower variant will get a different door handle. Towards the back, when you come, you'll notice that this part is blacked out. So the pillars are blacked out to give the roof a floating roof effect. And at the rear, what I'll do is I'll just close the boot lid real quick to be able to show you how it looks from the back. As you can see, once again, the light element is connected. So you've got a full width light bar, which is connecting the two tail lights. You've got Windsor spelled out across the back. There's an EV badge there, just in case somebody doesn't recognize what this is. Overall, a pretty interesting looking vehicle. But what do you make of the design and styling of the Windsor EV? Let me know in the comments. Now let's jump inside and see what it's like over there. So the first thing that strikes you when you get into the driver's seat of the Windsor EV is how simple the layout is. That's primarily down to the fact that there aren't too many switches down here. Most of the functions have been incorporated into the central touchscreen infotainment system. Down here, you will find a stack of switches, but these are only for the climate control and your hazard switch. And speaking of the screens themselves, this one is the 15.6 inch central touchscreen. You get a smaller unit on the lower end models and you get an 8.8 .8 inch digital instruments display. This screen houses most of your functions. So you will be able to access pretty much everything through here. Your light controls are over here. You've got your vehicle modes over here. The drive modes are actually to be selected using the stock on the steering column, a little bit like we've seen on some other luxury cars. And just to check out some of the other spaces up front, you've got some storage space over here underneath the front armrest. You've got wireless phone charging. There are cup holders. These seats are rather comfortable. They're more lounge like uh, in their appearance and in how they feel. And the front seats are also ventilated and powered. Also, you see this two-spoke steering wheel, you've got the steering controls right over here. The electronic parking brake, interestingly, is placed to my right. In terms of features, you get quite a lot. You've got wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You've got a nine-speaker audio system, a 360-degree camera system, and this is a pretty loaded car in top-end form. Now let's go and sit in the back seat because MG says that this will really redefine your rear seat travel experience. So now I'm in the back of the Windsor EV. Remember that this is a fairly long car. So you can tell that there is quite a lot of room over here. But the party trick really with this particular seat is how far back it can recline. So MG calls this the aero lounge seats and you can basically recline it really far back to be able to relax on those long drives. This is pretty comfortable, uh, though we will have to reserve our judgment for just how comfortable it is for when we drive it. And the other thing that will strike you is the size of this massive glass roof. It's not a sunroof, so you can't open it. But this infinity view roof will be there on the top spec model. You've also got rear AC vents. And thankfully, the floor of the Windsor EV is flat. So you won't really have a central tunnel here to sort of straddle. So three passengers abreast will be decently comfortable over here. Now let's check out the boot space of the Windsor EV. So the Windsor EV has a 604 litre boot. 
right now you can see that there is a charger along with the charger case and the seats are reclined so you won't be able to tell just how big this boot is but if you fold the seats down you will end up with close to 1700 liters of cargo space now to quickly talk about some of the technical specifications of the Windsor EV this one gets a permanent magnet motor power output peak is 134 bhp and 200 newton meters of torque the Windsor EV has a 38 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery pack it's using LFP prismatic cells and MG tells us that it will have a range of up to 331 kilometers though the company has not specified if this is the IDC figure or if this is the real world expected range figure now we come to the price of the Windsor EV the starting price of the Windsor EV is 9,99,000 rupees and I know what you're thinking that is considerably lower than the starting price of a Tata Nexon EV or even a Mahindra XUV 400 Pro and there is a reason for that you're only paying for the cost of the car you're not paying for the battery that price does not include the cost of the battery because MG has rolled out a battery as a service program with this it is mandatory so you really cannot have the Windsor with its battery you will still have to pay a subscription charge every month MG says that the cost is fixed at 3 rupees 50 paise per kilometer of driving assuming that you drive a thousand and five hundred kilometers every month you will end up paying somewhere between 5000 to 5500 rupees as just the rent for the battery for the first year charging will be free but after that your charging cost will be separate that being said if you cover say 10000 kilometers in a year you're still looking at a cost of anywhere between 50 to 55000 rupees as battery rent and that will of course keep multiplying over the years so what do you make of this subscription plan do you think it's a smart way to get customers into the showroom what do you make of the Windsor's design and styling, its features, its interior? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section. If you found this video informative, if you enjoyed watching it, then please remember to give us a thumbs up. And if you know somebody who would be interested in the Windsor EV, then please remember to share this video with them.